Dear colleagues, dear friends, perhaps you are wondering what the School of Mining and Metallurgy is doing in a shipping event. First, on a personal note, my PhD research was about new and environmental friendly and effective blast screening materials. Therefore, from the very first steps of my professional life, I discovered the hard yet proud and impressive world of shipyards. The ties between the shipping world and the mining sector go beyond that, of course. From the dawn of history, or even before, minerals of every kind were being transported by sea. Today, more than 5.3 billion tons of raw materials are being transported around the world by cargo ships every year. The total volume of crude oil and gas transported by ship last year only exceeded 2.2 billion tons. These figures alone underline that our sectors are closely connected. One sector is highly dependent on the other. From another point of view, ships are in a sense giant metallic structures. Therefore, the School of Metals deals with them in various ways. For example, for developing effective metal alloys or dealing with corrosion problems or using non-destructive testing techniques, and so on so forth. A good example to this point is the tremendous advances made by using nanotechnology in artifouling applications. I mention it because our school is a pioneer in the field of nanotechnology. Therefore, there is a lot of things we have in common, more than someone can imagine. With these words, I would like to welcome you to the 2022 Posidonia Exhibition, a reference event for ship owners, shipbuilders, suppliers of ship's equipment and shipping related services. I cordially wish you a fruitful and enjoyable event. The Laboratory of Metallurgy has gained considerable expertise and international reputation in the last 30 years in research and development. It's related in various fields like extractive metallurgy, rehabilitation of sites polluted from mining and metallurgical activities, thermodynamic studies of metallurgical systems, mathematical modeling, simulation of metallurgical and environmental protection processes, synthesis of added value materials from mining and metallurgical wastes, networking in the areas of mining, ornamental stones and processing. In the last 10 years alone, the LabMed has been involved in more than 40 national and European research projects, attracting in total more than 50 million euros in funding and producing more than 300 scientific publications in international journals and international scientific conferences. The laboratory also is in close collaboration with industries delivering a portfolio of services. The laboratory provides a wide range of analytical devices and setups that can be used for in-detail characterization of raw materials, intermediate and final products in terms of their physical, chemical, structural, morphological, mechanical and thermal properties. When applicable, the measurements are performed under international standard procedure guidelines. NTUA hosts in Labrion a technological and cultural park, a test bed building, 600 square meters, able to host and evaluate building envelope technologies and advanced materials through 1,800 monitoring nodes. The Living Lab is equipped with high in energy systems, renewables, hydrogen production and storage battery bank, open source automation, and an intelligent energy flow monitoring system, thermocouples, heat flows, thermal imaging sensors, analyzing the dynamic flow between the environment, envelope, and HVAC systems.
The team is highly experienced in life cycle assessment, LCA, cutting edge services in environmental footprinting, eco design, sustainable supply chains, and environmental communication by using Simo Pro and Gabi software.